Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we're starting off a new lecture series on structural dynamics. I remember when I was learning structural dynamics for the first time, it was quite an intimidating topic. Uh, but uh, rest assured, uh, learning is not intimidating, it should be fun, and hopefully you will have fun uh, going through these lectures and learning uh, the topic of structural dynamics, which is one of my favorites now. Um, in terms of difficulty, I can assure you that uh, dynamics is only 50% more difficult than statics at times, uh, but not even so, um, they tend to be uh, at the same level. Um, I would say dynamics has tremendous applications in, um, let's see, civil, mechanical, aerospace, and geophysics disciplines. And hopefully through the next 10 lectures, I'm going to prepare you uh, with all the basics and important topics uh, in structural dynamics. So if you're interested in taking more advanced dynamic courses, uh, perhaps experimental courses, you'll be able to do so uh, by simply following these lecture series. Um, I'll start off by talking about an introduction. Uh, to structural dynamics, what dynamics is, and how it differs from statics. And then we'll get into single degree of freedom systems, free vibration, harmonic, and arbitrary excitations. We'll talk about frequency domain and state space formulations, assumed mode methods, and then we'll dive into multi degree of freedom systems. Um, and again, that involves Newton's laws. Uh, we'll talk about Lagrange equations, uh, responses using modal superposition, and state space formulations. And lastly, we will talk about the non-proportional damping and uh, complex mode shapes. And that tends to be a more complex uh, and difficult uh, topic. So um, I will list uh, the curriculum in the description uh, to this video and hopefully link every video uh, in front of the corresponding topic. Uh, so you can go down there and click. And uh, yeah, please leave any comments, questions, any feedbacks in the comment section. I'll definitely read them. And um, yeah, we'll get this course started and I will see you in the next lecture.